Hey everyone, uh, today uh, I had um, some time to harvest finally some fruit that I'm going to show you and uh, I'm not going to do like a full garden tour, I'm just going to uh, quickly show you what I'm doing because the past uh, week, maybe a couple of weeks, I didn't really get around to do anything in the garden so there's many things that are they need the attention and uh, so I'm going by, by importance, first I did some harvest, uh, I'm going to do some more harvest maybe some potatoes and uh, i already did some but i'm gonna make a video on the potato reveal how they call it uh separately so let me show you quickly what's going on and then i'm gonna show you what i harvested okay so right here as i say every time one of my favorite things runner beans well, st still flowering still producing i already pick and there's still all this kind of stuff plentiful and there's oh, what's going on there oh there's a little caterpillar in there and uh, so this one they're still doing their thing right here as you see i had the bits i cleaned them up uh was kind of not a good year for me that's for sure in its place it doesn't look but i put whatever salad i had left uh, i don't know if they're gonna work or uh, i'm gonna get anything at all i got the chamomile i harvest uh, some flowers are right there doing their things here it's basically all finished it was like this no piece i have to clean up everything uh, the gourds i still have to, to figure out what i'm gonna do with hundreds of these little gourds just give them away but uh, soon the carrots I'm gonna have to pick because uh, I'm pretty sure oh, you can see they're ready. So, but this one they can stay. The carrots, even if they take a few frosts, they're still fine. So, I like to, to keep something in ground for when the uh, weather go very cold, like the carrots, leeks, you know, turnips, because it's still nice to go in the garden and get something kale that I tend to leave it in the ground you can leave Swiss charts even when it's snowing minus five is still going so I like to have a few things around uh, I harvest a few peppers I'm gonna show you uh, melons separate things uh, I right here what is now nothing uh, yeah right here I don't think ah yeah I picked some uh, beans down there and um, the bean tepi is still going we're gonna wait until they all dry but now i can see it's like really loaded with beans let me show you inside you see right there those are like kind of purple lighter so it's gonna be cool to see all the different beans and uh, another thing i did beside few tomato plants that i left uh, I took them off finally I couldn't stand them anymore they were just done so I harvest what uh, tomatoes were okay I have one there that is still doing something here now you can see nicely the watermelon that actually escaped its place there and ran across and went wide in between the the tomatoes you know so Anyway, I got few melons still uh, to pick. Uh, I got the corn the other day. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture in the end to, to show you because uh, my wife picked some stuff and the corn was very nice this year. And down there, the pumpkins, they are basically ready. And that's it for today. I think I'm just going to show you now the harvest. Uh, one thing that I noticed is that my fig in ground is actually producing now this they're not gonna get too mature size but from something that is not supposed to, to live in this uh, climate to come back here after year and now look guys you see those figs now they are growing who knows maybe in time it's gonna get uh, acclimatized or i'll figure it out a way and i'll get figs in zone 4 canada it's pretty crazy cherry tomatoes they are still producing and we are still picking 
so let me show you the harvest okay so we got some little like spring onions we clean up here some chives uh, we got the asparagus beans or yard long beans how you call them runner beans we have some chamomiles a couple of uh, lemon cucumbers then here we have mixed beans different variety of green beans or wax beans here is the beets not really bad bad year for beets but it's okay here you you can see the potatoes that my kids wanted to harvest i got some pickles cherry tomatoes regular tomatoes i got a few nice ones pretty big and then these are the weird ones that they are all like kind of bumpy but they're still good tomatoes got some uh, jubilee yellow one beautiful tomato right here i got some uh, mustard seeds that we are collecting as a spice you use it cucumbers some giant one eggplant different varieties this is a japanese white egg eggplant i don't remember this one but apple green and they're all like those small varieties because in this climate it's, they're more reliable to produce and, uh, and here is the peppers that we have uh, espelette uh, uh, hmm, i don't remember jodo i think uh, this is kind of a bell pepper and uh, then we got uh, jimmy nardello and uh, corbacci pepper hungarian hot wax and a whole kind of spicy pepper serrano jalapeno black hungarian uh, a couple of cayenne in there that uh, my wife is gonna pickle them and um, and that's about it so that's it for today thanks for watching i'll see you soon